The U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development is awarding millions of dollars to help the city of Indianapolis and local partners, and it's all to address homelessness. Fox 59 reporter Claire Curry explains how the nearly $12 million will be spent. From homeless to house, the Damien Center is just one organization getting a chunk of this federal funding to help address the issue. Since 2016, the Circle City has been committed to a housing first mindset. But it's not housing only. It's then let's walk together alongside one another and work on whatever may then be contributing to um, that long term stability. Which is why the continuum of care funding is nearly a 20% increase from last year and a 170% increase from 2016. One of the primary reasons we were selected for this enhanced federal support was the decrease in overall homelessness recorded in Indianapolis. Uh, for 2023. Another goal is reducing first time homelessness across the board. Using this award, more than 15 different organizations will begin projects supporting more than 2,800 people a year. For the additional funds that will provide rental assistance to 22 youth that are experiencing chronic homelessness and 12 individuals who are fleeing or attempting to flee domestic violence. HUD also grants bonuses to areas making an impact on homelessness for a specific subpopulation, such as those dealing with domestic violence. Damien Center is one of this year's recipients. The prices go up and the need goes up, and so we're seeing more and more people uh, with housing crisis who need support and assistance than ever before. Damien Center is planning to turn their facility into a new housing center. Throughout this year, you'll be able to see the progress as these organizations get their housing projects underway. Reporting on the Near East Side, Claire Curry, Fox 59 News. Claire, thank you.